see a beautiful sunset like that. Pull in the water. Get a fit. The tiles, girls, green grass, and guns. What's going on, guys? It's Randy with Guitars, Girls, Green Grass, and Guns. I got a little confession. I've been a cat fisherman for close to 20 years. I haven't done any bass fishing, no crappie fishing, no pan fish, just catfish for the last 20 years. So I do not have any fishing gear to go bass fishing. So we're here in Liberty at Rogers Sporting Goods. Let's see what's in store. So last year I looked into the Abba Garcia Black Max and uh, come back this year and they're, they're still uh, a reputable reel. And of course Abba Garcia is what I run on my catfish setup. So I'm gonna go with the Black Max along with an Abba Garcia rod. And uh, I'm not sure really, really how I feel about the rod because it's all carbon fiber and I'm really rough on my rod so I don't know I'm kind of scared that it might break like first week or something because I'm used to those ugly sticks and they well you still have a pound of those against the wall they're just sturdy get ups so I'm gonna get that all set up on my head back home and get the boat head out on the lake and I will see you on the lake now even though I'm going bass fishing there's something that I've never never leave home without you know if you're going out on the lake you got to catch catfish that's why i keep a healthy dose of sunnies in the fridge just going to transfer this over into the smaller jar never leave home without it i did find out that i do have some open face reels down here this one here is a shimano 2000 side stab and it's on a quantum rod got a pretty flimsy tip on it I like that I like the uh, I like to be able to feel what's going on with my rod so that's good it's still got a good still got a good base on it I'm down here trying to look at all of my old bass tackle this is going to be a treat Let's see what we got how long has it been 2001 this is my 2001 Missouri Conservation Wildlife Code book. That's how long it's been. <laughs> some old rusty hooks. Trash. Some nice lead for me to melt down later. I'm assuming this guy was probably my favorite. all rusty and junk six inch lizards seven inch power worms look at there it's a shimano spool r2 or an xl 120r there's a spool of uh 20 pound 20 pound line that's probably for my now, I know it's for my catfish and stuff. It doesn't feel very brittle. What is this? Another spool R2. I guess I had two of these. A little catfish bell. Some bobbers. Aha! These look like some good lures here. Yeah, I remember. I do remember these. I like these. I'm going to take those today. Now, I remember this right here used to be my favorite bait. My favorite lure. Have no idea what it is. Wow. Wow. It's like getting into a time capsule. I always liked my mice and mice and frogs. Those are fun. Got a deep diver there. Yeah, that's supposed to be just this is supposed to be rubber. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. God darn it. See, I was just getting ready to tell you I hate this thing. Three treble hooks on here. I hate. Man, it's just a nasty lure. I don't know. I guess that's supposed to be an orange perch. Sunfish. This one here is fat-free. 
from, from Bill Dance. I like this guy here. I like his colors. Crawfish. I guess I used to use a lot of these weedless lizards. I did use lizards quite a bit. A fancy little fella. That is all I have. That is all I have as far as bass gear or any kind of gear for anything other than catfish. It's been a long time since I've been in this box. I think I'm going to mooch off the guy I'm going with today and just use some of his stuff. These boxes are so old, they're not even snapping shut. Wow, it's going to be a whole new day for me. I'm going to go ahead and put my first lure on here. I'm not used to this 10 pound line. Let's see if we can get the drag set properly before we get out there. Drag set right. Let's give her a toss, see what it does. <laughs> all the way out into the street. I think I'm all set up to go fishing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See you on the water. Whew. All right. So uh, Andy just showed up with his Triton 16. I want to go with my Garcia 6500C3 and my new Black Max. He's actually out here teaching me how to use it and what some of these brakes on here that I've never had to use before are. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Go fish with a guy who brings two lures. Things creep around on the ground, and the say the ghost of a Lucius Clay gets up and walks around. Couldn't believe it. Just had to find out for myself. Couldn't conceive it. In a wood list that nobody else couldn't believe it. Just had to find out for myself. Some things in this world you just can't explain. swamp way back in the blue woods he never did do a lot of harm in the world but he never did do any good people didn't think too much of him they all thought he acted funny the old man didn't care about people anyway all he cared about was his money he'd stuff it all down in mason jars he'd bury it all around and on certain nights the moon's right he'd dig it up out of the ground he right, we finally made it out on the water where 20 feet deep right here, and we're literally just a couple of yards away from 35 feet, and we're just feet away from a seven foot area. So we've got a perfect drop off right here. The sonars are showing a lot of bait fish running 10, uh, 18 feet, but there's a lot of action on the very bottom, so. The water temperature jumped up about five degrees since Sunday. And what are we running? 80, 82.6. 82, 82 and a half degrees here. So you're right here with me. First cast. Eight pounds coming in. Coming in hot. Meet me at the Woolly Swamp later. We'll take old Lucia's money. We'll feed him to the alligators. They found the old man out in the back with a shovel. All right, there's no eight pounder yet. Actually, didn't even get any bites yet. It's been about an hour. The sun is, uh, I don't even know what time it is. We're doing a lot more not fishing than fishing, isn't it? Sure? Yeah, we're in a lot of trees. It's a beautiful spot. There's a lot of fish on the radar. This guy behind me is actually half-ass professional. Uh, and he hasn't been getting any bites either, so I'm not feeling too out of place. 
So as far as that eight pounder, I haven't caught it yet, but I'm getting ready to dip just the tip in the sunny. We're getting ready to do some catfishing, guys. <laughs> Super high, and it's somewhat hot, and I mean, it's a tough bite right now until that sun starts to go down and get some clouds moving in. So let's get into some catfish. Happens time and time again. Threw my line out once, the anchor didn't hold. We started drifting away a little bit, so we moved back over to where we were supposed to be, anchored up, threw out, in uh, five to six minutes. <laughs> sunny, sunny, super sticky. If you're watching, why don't you sponsor me? I could really use your help. Wink, wink. What'd you get? Cafe. Oh, oh, get the net. Zoom in. Number two. It's gonna be a tough day to fish. Those uh, they could see everything. And it's just a lot more difficult. They want to go deeper, offshore structures, which I don't know where any of that stuff is this like. So when I came out here Sunday, it was nasty weather, getting ready to rain, overcast, and I was just slaying them. Like it was game over, catching giants, losing giants for the most part. Not really catching them, but had some giants on. And now we're just doing that fight. I'm just watching the uh, finder as much as possible. I got it on depth and downscan sonar. Trying to find some subtle changes, looking for some drop-offs, maybe some structure real deep. Uh, right now I'm just opting into doing some crappie fishing. So right now we're in about 20 foot of water and we've been in. There's a little uh, cutback, like a cove, almost looks like a flood where like a creek channel would run into down here. And something down there, so we're going to go to some of these places where it looks like water has moved into since we did get the rain. Hoping there might still be a couple cats down there just waiting for something. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Horrible cast, redo. Recalculate. I need to get closer to that baby little cat. Mulligan. Boat was moving, had wind of my eyes. Oh, there he is. Oh, he got off, guys. That fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going cheating right now, guys. Um about three foot length and I'm just bouncing a bobber which is kind of like jig fishing but I'm just holding it at a depth instead of typical bobber fishing and I'm using these crappy nibbles secret eyes are so close means it's a secret overall it's been a pretty good day any day you can spend out on the lake this is a pretty good day you know we haven't caught much but fishing in itself is fun it's relaxing Something I enjoy doing, whether by myself or with company. And I'm telling you, any night that you can see a beautiful sunset like that, have you pulling the water? Get a fish! <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> oh my God! Now oh, he's on there. He's on there. <laughs> Anytime you can watch the sunset, get him! Little fella. Little Chanel cat. I got him on the lip. Yeah, at least I can see the hook. <laughs> get a fish! I think I'd ever catch one on camera, that's awesome. <laughs> Guys, thanks for stopping by Guitars, Girls, Green Grass, and Guns. This is my day of uh, fishing on Smithville Lake. Leave a comment, subscribe, give me a like if you would, and have a good day. I'm out.